On the rooftop of the world, Tibetan mastiffs have been protecting families from wolves and bandits for thousands of years. Huge, fearless and ferocious, they are believed to be one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. But this ancient breed is under threat. The Tibetan Mastiff is uh, vanishing on the plateau. The giant dog breed that we are used to see a lot when I explore uh, throughout Tibet, uh, within the last few years, becoming fewer and fewer. Some have even reported that there are less than 150 purebred Mastiffs left worldwide. For many years, the Tibetan plateau has been off limits to the rest of the world. But today, outsiders coming in on newly constructed roads are bringing their mixed breed dogs with them. No one's care about that, how they mix. So they've been all interbred with uh, lowland dogs here now, especially along the road. The mastiffs have become not only smaller, but also less vicious. Twenty years ago, Tibetan mastiffs were seen chasing away wild yak, one of the most ferocious animals on the plateau. While in recent years, valuable dogs like these have been extracted from all over Tibet by commercial breeders. To save the Tibetan Mastiff, CERS, the China Exploration and Research Society, has started a conservation program. The expedition team reaches the remotest corners of the plateau in search of the last purebred Mastiffs. When we see a nomadic camp, with binoculars, we look at there are oh, some black dots there that looks like mastiff. When we get close up to it, usually uh, we're disappointed. Let alone we are looking for good parents that has puppies. Despite many difficulties, CERS has been collecting purebred puppies and bringing them back to the mastiff project site here on the border of Tibet and Yunnan province. Under a breeding program in this newly built kennel, Puppies are taken care of by native Tibetans. The well-fed litters grow quickly. But once they become adults, they could be hard to control. This male, named Renro, is a little over two years old. When the cameraman got too close, it suddenly launched an attack. It even managed to break loose for a second chance to bite him. Keeping them tough is important. Standing at an elevation of over 3,500 meters, the kennel site is icy cold most of the year. The thin air and deep snow would be too much for other dogs. As the puppies survive the harsh winter, they'll become tougher. Okay. How man is now planning to install a maternity ward that can offer state-of-the-art facilities to future puppies. Hopefully, in time, when we have enough puppies, we can repopulate part of the plateau with a plant and uh, perhaps give back some lifeline to this uh, very majestic dog. As part of the plan, CERS will give purebred Mastiff puppies to Tibetan families. They hope to return the integrity to both the Tibetan Mastiff and the Tibetan people on the plateau. Oh, yeah.